Alright guys, this is going to be part two. So far caught six fish. Uh, I think two bluegills and four channel catfish is the score. And hopefully I can catch one on camera this time. It's kind of hard to do, but we'll see. See how they react. Got you. All right, now I'm trying to catfish. No one, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Let's go ahead and take a pick real quick. Quit moving around. It is mad, it's gone. Okay, got him. Got him. Yeah, I got him through the eye. That's okay. That's what you do. Let me see here. Let's see what I can do. I'm going to offer a surgery on this guy. Which I hate. Ta-da! That's neat. Alright, let's let him go. Let's 
will be fish number six. There's in there. Okay, well, we'll figure it out later. I'm just going to... Oh, I'm doing all the notes. I'm doing all the devotional. That is so strange. But anywho, today's scripture is going to be on Romans chapter 1. It says, There is no therefore now no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus, who do not walk according to the flesh, but according to the Spirit. That is good news. You understand why? Because in Christ, we are not condemned because of our sin. Because we have been washed by His blood. Yet that does not mean that we make an excuse to keep on sinning. No. We live in a life where the Holy Spirit takes over our lives so that we can produce much fruit in the kingdom of God. It's that simple. And so it is by the grace of God that we learn how to love thy neighbor as thyself and to love the Lord with all heart, soul, soul, with all strength. And this meaning is that God allows us to see things in His perspective. 
we are not called to do things on this world. That's why that's why I don't vote. Because voting is not what I'm here for. Living in America. I am here to serve the living God. And to see the Bible prophecies that are fulfilling in our eyes. And that God has called us to live holy and to and to be meek and to be humble of what God is doing in our lives. Amen. We are in Christ always. There's a lot of promises in the scriptures that we are in Christ. We are made different. We are no longer uh, a man that goes after the world, but a man who goes after God. And my purpose on this earth is to bring the good news of the Lord Jesus Christ and to live a life worthy to see the kingdom once I pass on. It's that simple. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. May God bless you. May God keep you. See you guys again next time. Bye.